Well, today we have basically Eastern Michigan University. Ms. Priya Kohle is a professional psychologist with 12 years of work experience in career counseling. Priya served in several international roles. She is working as a country representative for the Eastern Michigan University for the Asia Pacific region. She also worked with the Ivy League, the Columbia University, worked as assistant director for the Ohio State University, and trainer for the London School of Business and Finance. She has done counseling for more than 22 lakh students till date for higher education. Wow, that's a big number. She is a certified Pearson PT trainer and a career coach. She will also be taking a topic, student topic, about the popular courses for study abroad. You know, students have problems in selecting of the programs. Can I take a transfer? Can a university help me in selecting the program? Can I change my major after my first year of undergraduate study? Or can I change my major after my first year of graduate study? Or what is the flexibility in choosing the program? So these are a lot of questions. Maybe she'll help us in uh, uh, getting an answer to this. We are the, the stage is all set for you. Please take over and thank you for being here. Am I audible to you? Yes, you are audible. You are able to hear me? Yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry, there is a church bell going on. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Priya Kudle. I'm a professional psychologist. And today I would like to discuss about the courses available in US and most likely course available in US, like, you know, the opportunities, what you get if you do this kind of courses in US. So is my screen visible to you all? Yes, it is visible. Okay. Uh, so, okay. So the most popular courses in US are like, you know, the STEM program, usually any science, engineering, math program are known as a STEM program. Just. Uh, Engineering program, the most popular program is computer engineering, aeronautical, mechanical engineering, AI, IoT, machine learning, which students usually go for. And the payment pay package for this kind of program minimum for an undergrad starts from $55,000 till $85,000 to $90,000 a year. Computer science program is most likely to be selected in US because it's the hub for computers. Data analytics, HCR, human computer interaction, IT programming are the majors which students go for undergraduate as well as for the master's program. These programs are also been taken by students, those who are not from the computers background. Students with majors of physics, electronics, electrical, uh, like uh, chemistry, biology also go for a master's program in this area because of the jobs available in US. Business program is the third stream, which is most likely been taken by the Asian students. Business analytics, finance, economics, accounting, banking, international business, global business management are the majors which students usually take and they get jobs into. Some business programs like economics and finance are also considered into the STEM program by some American universities. Plus point to select STEM program in US is that after completion of your program, you get two, two and a half and up to three years of post-study work visa. That is OPT, like, you know, in, in the US word, in other words, you can consider that to be a post-study work visa. That's where students, even from a business program, look out for a program which can give them a long duration to stay in US and then probably get a job or settle down there. Humanities program are also been considered like, you know, the job oriented program in US, psychology, advertising, design, special education, media, social work are some kind of programs which a student opt for and they are in high demand.
So, how to select a program into any university in US? First of all, like anytime you select any US university, calculate your cost. Some tu like, you know, tuition fee plus living expense because to even apply to a US university, you have to show your financial statement, which is very much important in order to get your I-20, the offer letter. That's why it's not uh, like, you know, certain universities are flexible to give you an offer letter, but when you go to the bank, they generally want I-20 in order to give you the education loan. That's why we always tell every student to work on your finance first before applying to any US university. University because to get your I-20, you need to show your financial bank statement. So calculate your cost. Usually the state-funded universities have a lower tuition fee as compared to the private universities in US. So as per your budget, you think about applying to a university. Second thing is university accreditation and your course accreditation. Sometimes the universities are accredited, but the courses which they offer are not accredited. Then the course is not valid, valid to get a job across the world. So check out for accreditation, especially for engineering, you need ABET accreditation or for a business school, you need AACSB accreditation for the university as well as for your program. So select wisely. Scholarships offered. The, uh, you have to check out US universities give a lot of scholarship as compared to other countries. From minimum stipend till full fee waiver, also you get into a scholarship. So US is the plus point. A lot of students don't know that during the master's program, they get graduate assistantship, which covers students' tuition fee, living expense, stipend, their insurance also. So most of the students are not aware of this. US is the best destination to study your master's program because you get all this. Course modules, uh, you have to check like, you know, what you're going to study into US. The courses offer the course modules, how many credits because the tuition fee depends on the credit hours you take for a particular program. Internships and study abroad programs you need to check because that really plays an important role for you to get the work experience into your required field and also after completion of your program to get the job in US or other part of the world. Check if the graduate assistantships and fellowships are available for a master's program. Most of the universities, 90% of US universities offer that. You have to check that. It's not available on the website. So you have to do individual research as well as you have to check out with the admission department and the individual department for it. Placement records, you always check for a university where you are applying. Depending on the placement ratio, you select the university. Generally, any university having 90 plus, 90% 90 plus placement ratio is a good university in US. Check the university research work. Most of the program in US right from the undergraduate are research oriented. So a university which has a research and has a research lab facility really helps a lot. And lastly, think about ranking. Usually what happens, students jump on for a ranking of a university rather than checking all these parameters and then they end up getting nothing. And then finally, they have to go to a university which is not highly ranked or accredited also because they cross their deadlines. So all these parameters always consider when you think about a US education or a university in US. Flexibility in choosing program. US is very much flexible when it comes to uh, do your higher education because US gives you flexibility in selecting your subjects, your majors, your minors. When you come to a bachelor's degree, US give you a bachelor's plus master's program. So four years bachelor's degree plus one year of master's. So you complete your entire master's program in five years. So that's the plus point. Second is like in your bachelor's degree, you can take a single major and minors, whatever you want. So even if you are studying biology or physics, still you can take dance, music, 
or or anything as your minor subject like you know that's the beauty about us universities the bachelor's with double majors is also a great option. Sometimes like students, especially from the IB school comes up and they say they want to do engineering or they want to do um, uh, like a business program they are not sure about. So at that time, this kind of students go for a dual uh, majors, like a double majors at a time. Master's program with specialization Masters plus PhD is again a great combination if you think about US. PhD with thesis and non-thesis is again a good combination. PhD plus postdoctoral program in a very short duration of time. US is good at that. Frequently asked questions like, you know, by students is like, can I get a transfer of the selection of my program? So definitely for an undergraduate program, you will get transfer. So sometimes students are not sure into their first year what subject they want to do. So the first year generally for an undergraduate program has 24 to 30 credits. So you can take general credits and generally in US they give you general credits for the first year so that you can think about your majors if you're not sure for your second year and you can get transfer. Uh, sometimes students from community colleges also take transfer in their third year into a university. Some students after their first semester, they take a uh, transfer into other university by scoring a good GPA. And some students change their course majors into their first and second year. So it's possible to do that if, when you're in your undergraduate program. Now, do university have counselors to guide for the selection of programs? Every university in US have a counselor desk. They do a usually office of international affairs in each university plays an important role in doing that. You get a psychologist, you get a counselor to select your majors, to select your minors, to select your courses. Even for your course transfer, they help you out. Now, can I change majors after first year of UG studies uh, is usually the question which I have covered. It is easy to change your university after first year. It is easy to change your majors after first year. It's easy to take combination of subjects after your first year. But when you come into second year, make sure you're sure about which program you want to do and which university you want to do. Generally, students with low GPA, they go for a university with lower ranking, uh, with lower tuition fee. But once they score a 3.5 GPA plus, they can also apply to Ivy Leagues or to good university with the greatest scholarships. So this kind of transfers you get when you are into your undergraduate program. And the fourth question, which I usually get from students is, can I change my majors after first year of my graduate studies that during the master's program? Now the answer is no, because generally it's difficult to do that. Uh, usually any US universities have 15 credits for a master's program first year and 15 credits in the second year. You can take a transfer into your department. Suppose if you're studying physics uh, and like you can take like, you know, from your majors of physics to thermodynamics and all something into your department will work well. Computational physics you can take as a transfer, which is related to your master's majors. But you cannot take transfer from physics to a biology department or to a chemistry department. It's difficult. So please be selective and wisely you select your master's majors whenever you apply to a U.S. university. Uh, so in US, uh, like uh, there are three schemes of universities, uh, like uh, the categories you can see, public university, private university, Ivy League institutions. So public universities are usually funded by the state government and federal government of US, these are the government universities. Private universities are held by the private bodies, sometimes by PPP. 
not for profit kind of universities, but they are private. So the tuition fee generally in the private is a little bit higher as compared to the public universities. Ivy League institutions are the premium institutions like Harvard, Stanford, uh, Columbia. So this kind of institution are prestigious. The tuition fee is very high. They are very selective by taking the students. You have to do or take all the entrance tests in order to be here. And so these are various things which you need to consider while thinking about like selecting the universities. Uh, the subjects are usually taken across like liberal arts, technical school and community colleges are the college, uh, like the colleges uh, present in US. So if you don't have the required finance or you don't have the required GPA for an undergraduate program, in that case, students usually select the community college route, where in two years they complete into a community college at 50% of the tuition fee. And once they complete the two years, they take a transfer for third year into a US university of their choice or like, you know, whoever accepts them. In US, there are more than like, you know, 4,000 universities. Um, more public universities and, and private universities or not for profit, like equally you could see Na around 900 community colleges. Uh, now let me talk uh, something about uh, Eastern Michigan University. Uh, where I'm a country representative. So for the undergraduate, we have 300 plus majors and minors program. And for masters, we have 150 plus uh, specialization. It's a 172 year old public research university founded in 1849. So it's one of the oldest university in the Midwest of US. Uh, it's located in Ypsilanti, Michigan, which is just 30 minutes away from Detroit and 10 minutes away from Ann Arbor. Detroit is the industrial hub of US, the home for automobile industry. So the General Motors, Ford Motors were manufactured and formed in, in this place. Most of our students, 90% of our students do practical uh, job over there, hands-on practical experience they get in Detroit area, in the industrial area. They also get part-time jobs along with their program in this area. For last 18 consecutive years, EMU stood as the best Midwestern university as per the Princeton Review. And 92% is the employment ratio last year due to COVID or usually it's 96%. University is spread on 800 acres of land having 122 building comprises of academic building, uh, athlete building, as well as student jobs. So it is the largest university. That's why we recommend undergraduate students to stay on campus compulsory. Enrollment size of students usually every year is around 23,000 to 26,000. The class size is very small, 18 is to one, 18 students to one faculty is the class ratio. And so personalized attention is given to each student. We are giving application fee waiver, GRE, GMAT, SAT, ACT waiver, due to pandemic because students are not able to take the test. So it's the right time to apply to the university because of all these waivers are given. We need English tests like ILTS and TOEFL for students, those who are not from the international board like IB and AP. For international board students like IB and AP, we give English test waiver also. Student experience all four seasons. So like sometimes students have the fear that being in West, it's always covered with snow, but that's not the case in Michigan, especially in Ypsilanti. Students experience summer, fall, rainy, spring. So all seasons are experienced. It's not just covered with snow. We are just 20 minutes away from Detroit International Airport. So very much in this city, 10 minutes away from downtown, two hours away from Canada. 
So the Ambassador Bridge connects Michigan and Canada. So, and 25% of US and Canada trade happens through Michigan. So like, you know, you can understand how close uh, it is to, to like, you know, so a lot of finance students and international business students get hands-on experience of both the countries by studying at our university.